Number six, which molecule has a molecular mass of 28.05 AMU? And now I have like a multiple choice, but with three choices. So I have to figure out which one of these has the molecular mass of 28.05 AMU. Okay, so technically what we would have to find out is what is the molecular masses of each one of them. So let's do it. Let's, let's mix them up though, right? Let's, I don't know, let's start with B. Let's find out what the molecular mass is of this one. Now we've done tons of practice before, right? If you guys are on the playlist and if you want to see the beginning questions of this, just go back a couple of questions. We've done tons of molecular masses, mass questions before. Remember, the easiest thing to do is just convert this into what a chemical formula would be. So just visualize or just zone in on the individual elements. In this case, we have two of them, right? We have carbons, which are the C's, and we have hydrogens which are the H's. So how many total carbons do we have? Yeah, I have two, right? So I have C, two. And then how many total hydrogens? Yeah, I got four green circles, so I have four hydrogens. So this would be H4. Now, when we're doing molecular masses and they give you this type of covalent compound, right, with these lines, aka bonds, you disregard the bonds. Pretend that they're not even there. All right. You're just zoning in on the actual element, literally the letter. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to find out the mass for this. So we list all the individual elements. So in this case, I have two of them. I have just have C and H and I just say how many I have of each, which we just did, right? We said that we had two carbons and we have four hydrogens. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna multiply one, each one of those by the masses that you see on the periodic table. But the question is, usually there's gonna be two big, relatively big numbers, right? Which one is the mass value? It's the decimal values, okay? The decimal values are the average atomic masses of the individual elements. These whole numbers, the one and the six, remember those are the atomic number. It has nothing to do with maths. Atomic number is the number of protons. The mass is the protons plus the neutrons, right? But these are decimals. Uh, that's why they're average. Now, since we're dealing with such a small scale, we're going to be dealing with the unit of AMU. AMU is atomic mass unit. AMU, atomic mass unit. So going back to here, I'm just going to multiply the mass of each individual element by how many I have. So for carbon, it's going to be two times the 12.01 AMU. And for the hydrogen, it's going to be four times the 1.008 AMU. Okay. So now, hmm, let's see. Maybe I can grab this and just move it maybe, there we go, perfect. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so let's tally it up. So for the carbon, two times 12.01 is 24.02 AMU. And then for the hydrogen, it's four times 1.008, which is 4.0, 3, 2 AMU. And now if we need to find the total molecular mass, what are we going to do with these two numbers? Yeah, we're going to add them up. So let's see. 24.02 plus 4.032. And yeah, I get 28.052 AMU. Now, ooh, this was, this was a little ugly. Hold on. 0.52 AMU. Now, technically, since one of the numbers only goes out to the hundredths place, your answer can only go out to the hundredths place. So this two, technically, for sig fig reasons, shouldn't be there. 
So this would roughly be 28.05. And that's what they wanted. So which molecule has a molecular mass of 28.05? It's this one. It's ethene for organic chemistry or C2H4. And that's it. So maybe, maybe we'll just like box this answer off. This guy. If you guys wanted to find out what the molecular masses of these two would be, go give it a shot. But they're not going to be 28.05, I can guarantee you that. All right? So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, if you want to subscribe, that would help us out. Just gets the word out there that this, you know, free service exists. And if you guys are also in physics and math, go check out, go, you know, go check out our channel because we have physics and math questions for you as well. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Keep studying hard and I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.